All right, well, so first thing you want to do is make sure the door studs are all plumb and square, both sides, top and bottom, screwed in. Uh, when you, then when you put uh, your um, headers in and clamp them in, you want this to be tight. You don't want to have a crooked uh, shoe. You don't want any space in there. You want it nice and tight. So sometimes I try to clamp the corners and the screw placement does matter. You want the screw placement up high I'll show you where in a second. Uh, up here, and then I some I put one in the front here to keep the the shoe from not popping out or, or bending in. Yeah. So I'll do one on each side to start. Uh, clamp the other side, and then I'll put the front ones in after. Yeah, you can see the studs are the studs. The studs are wrapped nice and tight, and then just to, to finish, put a couple on the inside here. You can put them on the outside too, but for drywall, this is the easier way. Oh, less stuff getting in the way of the drywall when it goes in. All right, I wanted to also show you guys uh, another thing. You know, I said to laser up one side of the door and then measure across. Well, sometimes uh, the, the the door will be in a different elevation at the top, right? Like here, so then it's okay to laser up both sides, okay? Because it's gonna, once one door, this side of the door here, and then this is on the, on the higher part. So you'll see how it looks when it's done. But in that case, yeah, don't be afraid to uh, laser up both sides. Also, too, uh, laser up the. Make sure you laser up your mark, your actual pencil marks. Sometimes the the track, you know, you can leave it a little bit short, you know, and then stick out the stud. But yeah, simple as that. I always clamp and screw door studs. Okay guys, so when installing uh, door headers, uh, you set your laser line to uh, horizontal and you want to find your low side, or your high side I mean, uh, so which meaning the lower number here, <laughs> okay, don't get confused. So we got uh, 59 small there, uh, 59 and a quarter here, so we're going to go to this side and measure up. 82 half for our header height. Oh. 82 half. Okay. And then we're going to measure from that mark down to the laser line. Third, 23 and a half. Okay. 23 and a half. Oh. Mark it. All right, so now what you want to do then is square it. You want to square it straight across, but there's also a little trick you want to, to draw the line on the front of the studs, because when you put the headers in, that's the mark you're actually going to use. So uh, don't forget that step. Simple, simple. So I'll show you what I mean. The little marks on the fronts. You see, I follow it around. That's where you can see it when you put the header in. Boom. See what I mean? Now you can see your mark when you're using the, the shoes. Right, you get, you can see your mark on the front. Otherwise, if it was just on the front of the stud, you wouldn't be able to see it, right? So yeah, clamp those in. And like I said before, measure over to mark your stud centers and uh, fill out your uh, 
header studs and you're done. Just like that. So it's all squared over, nice screwed in. Um, and then for the centers, all I'm gonna do is measure from here to here and it'll be the same because the, the studs are plumb, right? So it'll be like nice or I can measure from back or whatnot. So as simple as that. And then measure across because these are plumb. Just measure across now. Right, 11, 5 eighths. 16, Alright, you guys are going to be pros in no time. Once you get the basics down, it's a uh, Pretty easy from there. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comments. I will 100% get back to you. If you're new to the channel, get subscribed. Hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss when we go live and upload new videos. This is Chris, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>